Hey guys, what's up? So I thought I'd make a quick video, um, just talk about, uh, the buses that I'm gonna be buying pretty soon here. Um, so, uh, I don't know how really to start this off, but, um, you know, you saw the buses in the video. You saw 17, you saw 19, you saw 77, and you saw 3, and you saw 89. So those are the five buses that they're gonna get rid of, and I'm gonna buy, um, I, I don't think I'll have any problems with getting uh, the four buses that do not run and are missing parts because nobody wants them. Um, I want them, but, you know, that's where I, ha I see potential. Other people just see scrap metal. Um, so, um, what this video is basically about is suggestions on what to do with the buses. Um, I know I'd like to restore three, obviously, and bus 77. Uh, those two are definitely going to get restored. Three will get restored first, then I'll work on 77. Um, 77 needs a whole new engine, because I took the engine out to put in a different bus. Um, so, you know, uh, let's see, where do I... 89 is in actually pretty good condition. Uh, the mechanics told me it most likely still works. Uh, they said that it's only missing a few small parts um, in the in the interior, and that uh, I don't. He said he didn't believe anything was missing from the engine, uh, and and if it was, he said it's something small. It's not like they took a transmission or something like that. Um, I mean, if if needed, I can take the engine from '89 and put it in '77. Uh, I prefer not to, but I could. Because uh, 89's got a T triple four E, um, and 89's a nice looking bus. I mean, sure it needs some new paint work, um, and it's, it's got a wheelchair lift. Um, and I, I'm just curious as what as to what you guys think I should do with that bus. Um, it was I planned on making it my uh, own little party cool bus type deal. Um, if I had the money, I would totally give it chrome or uh, aluminum wheels um, so it could you know have some have some bling um, I, I'm just thinking what to do you know you guys give me some suggestions on what you want to see um, and uh, if you watch the video you obviously saw bus 17 uh, there's bus 17 right there uh, bus 17 is a 95 carpenter just like uh, what is it uh, crap bus uh, 19 and if you want to see let's see here there's bus 21 the last of the three carpenters uh 21 was ordered with uh 17 and 19 um so it's going to be retired this year and i don't know if they're going to sell it they told me that they're going to stop stripping down the buses so if any of you guys want a carpenter 3800 with a side door uh, i can i can uh hook you up well you know what I mean, um, money talks, and, uh, most likely the bus will go on, uh, public surplus whenever they try to sell it, so, um, and I want to see these buses go to good homes, guys, so, please, if you want to, if you want an old bus, we've got that, we, not that, we've got this Wayne, 26 will be going, um, 44 and 45, let's see, no, 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 that bus will be going, which I'm going to try to get that, but I don't know. That bus will be going, um, it's got the old style, as I like to call it, Star Trek font on there. Um, so, you know, just, uh, like I said, if you want a good bus, um, our buses are actually in really good shape for being 20 years old. Uh, we've always taken care of our buses. Our buses were originally laid law buses. Um, well, I think some of the older ones we owned ourselves, but most of them were laid law buses. Um. But yeah, uh, this one wasn't, because we bought it after we got out of the, because we went Laidlaw, well, from what my knowledge is, is that we had our own buses, then we went to Laidlaw, and then when first student bought Laidlaw, um, I believe that's how that happened, um, correct me if I'm wrong, first student took us over for a year or so, and then, because of how crazy first student was, we got out of that, and now we're buying our own buses, um, so let's get back to... There's 77. You can see the laid law signs. Um, and before you ask, yes, those are mine. They let me have them. Um, 
as of right now, they're all owned by School Bus Heritage. Um, so don't ask for one if, you know, because they're School Bus Heritage um, items for the museum. And I do plan to put them on the buses, uh, at least a few of the buses. So as of right now, none of them are for sale. Um, so yeah. Um, and then when we go to, there's 89. This is 89. Um, like I said, I might repaint the hood because it's faded, whereas the cow assembly is not as faded. Uh, that needs to be painted back up there, but um, I don't know if I'll paint that just yet. Um, the stop sign's still there. Um, and I'd assume everything still works. Like, they haven't taken anything off. The only thing that's missing is the cross arm. Um, so, you know, it's, it's just, you know, it's a bus that's in actually good shape coming from Lebanon because most of our buses get stripped down, which they said they're going to stop doing that. So I guess we'll see. Uh, the paint looks pretty good. Um, like, it's not too faded, uh, except for this spot up here where they painted over. Uh, one of the sections, you can see it over here too, it actually covered up the crown emblem, but um, this bus was probably retired in 2013, um, and they told me they had it running, and if you saw in the video, there were a few parts in it, uh, so, you know, um, but before I get too carried away and make this a 30 minute video, and uh, pull a Dylan, um, you know, what do you guys want to see on this bus? Um, you know, I'd love to retrofit it with a second stop sign. That'd be pretty cool. Um, maybe change the number? I don't know. Uh, possibly get a crown. Uh, there's a website that if you give them a logo, they'll make it for you. Uh, maybe get crown emblems put on it. Uh, I'm going to try my hardest, which... Ohio state law says if you're going to drive a retired school bus on the road, this has to be covered up. Um, and the regulation number here, um, that can't stay. Like, that's something the state gives every bus. It's a regulation number. I call it OIDN or Ohio Identification Number. Um, Adam came up with that, Project 681. Um, I'd have to cover that up. Uh, same thing with the stop sign, I'm pretty sure. The stop sign has to be covered up if I want to drive it on the road. And Lebanon City Schools obviously has to be taken off. So, I don't know, I might put Busboy 501 Productions on the side. I might put School Bus Heritage on the side. Um, I mean, this will be a School Bus Heritage bus at some point. But for right now, it's going to be my first drivable bus. And it's going to be my play bus, if you want to call it. I might make it say Cool Bus, but I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I'm really, you know, I I'm really curious to see what you guys think. Um, I will put the pic these two pictures at the end of the video. Um, so, you know, guys, let me know what you think. Um, oh, and this is the Junkyard video. Um, I have, I had to upload them in parts. I did an in-depth tour of the whole Junkyard. I had to upload them in parts. So, uh, you'll see that pretty soon. I have the first two uploaded and unlisted. I gotta get the second one uh, uploaded on listed because it was taking like it was gonna take like 300 minutes to freaking do a 25 minute video and I was not having that so yeah all right guys thanks for watching tell me what you think I hope you enjoyed this video um, once again tell me what you would like to see on this bus um, so yeah all right guys thanks for watching bye.